Hello, today's quick tip is focusing on connecting your AIM hardware to an existing Wi-Fi network. Now, one of the reasons you may want to do this is you may want to be able to be connected to the internet and be connected to your device at the same time to be able to, for example, download device firmware and update. But there are other applications whereby if you happen to be in a garage, for example, where there are multiple cars with multiple AIM devices, if all those devices are connected to the same internet uh, or same network as the computer which downloads the data or updates the settings or configuration, you can do multiple devices at the same time. And so it's a very simple scenario to be able to work with. Here I've got Race Studio 3 open and you can notice that over on the left hand side here, if I click on these uh, two uh, arrows talking about devices, is that we have my AIM Solo 2 connected, but there's a little um, word here called Gloria. Now Gloria just represents the name of the Wi-Fi network I have in my house uh, at the moment. But uh, if I then connect uh, on the device itself, I no longer now need to connect uh, as a um, access point where the Wi-Fi is only talking to the AIM Solo 2. Instead, I'm still connected to the internet and working with the device at the same time. Now you can do this, you've got multiple devices as said, and it's a very useful um, uh, variable to use. The challenge you have here is that oftentimes there is no Wi-Fi network at the track and so an access point is the easier of the two to be able to use. But say for example you're using let's say uh, a Wi-Fi network at a track where uh, you have uh, a little portable device and everyone can connect, it's a very useful feature. So to be able to change this, uh, if you click on Wi-Fi and properties, last time we looked at this we changed uh, things like the device name and the properties. But here what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to click on this area here where it gives you an option of being able to work with access point or existing network. I've got it set to existing network right now. You type in the name of the network. Uh, you have to know the name of your network, but that's okay if you know. Uh, obviously mine's quite simple here. You put in the Wi-Fi password of the network, pretty straightforward again. But there is one key parameter that you should also put in as well, which will make this transition a lot smoother, is you should also put in a password for the device. Now you might be wondering, why do you need to do that? Well, the simple reason is, is that if you're connecting your device to a Wi-Fi network where there are multiple devices connected, that means any computer that's also connected to that can access the device. And if you want to keep certain elements of your intellectual property to yourself from the configuration of the device or variables on your car or the download data, being able to protect the device is extremely important. And so all you need to do is be able to put on those parameters hit transmit and that sends the information to the device. It'll turn itself on and off and then from that point onwards every time you turn on the device itself it will look for the Wi-Fi network whether it be in a garage or on an, a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, or any of the type of established internet connections that are available and then you'll be able to download that data or the data of multiple devices that are there. So hopefully this is useful to you.